Good morning, sir. My name is Niko Marjanti Miami Dunia Angela. Today, I would like to present about my proposal research entitled The Effect of Role Play on Student Speaking Skill at Sixth Grade of SD Negeri Tujuh Bukit. So, for the first one, I would like to present about introduction that is the background of my research. According to Ayuning Tias Wulandari and Yana 2019, English speaking skill is one of the skills of language to be required in global interaction or communication. In learning English, it is very important to emphasize speaking skills because students need to talk and interact during learning activities. The speaking skills of a person can be assessed uh, through uh, the, the ability to communicate. From after the first observation, in speaking uh, learning activities, students experience many obstacles or problems. One of them was the lack of speaking skills in sixth grade um, students. Many students express uh, reluctance uh, to speak for fear of making mistakes when speaking and being loud at by their friends. In addition, the problems that is often found is that English is not their mother tongue, so it is so difficult for them to use it. Another reason, it is the lack of motivation to practice a second language in everyday conversation. Many techniques uh, can be applied to solve this problem, such as the use of role play in classroom learning activities. Because there have been many research findings that say that this um, technique is effectively used in teaching speaking. Role play is a method of role playing in which students play certain character in a story or other complex social situation. Role playing creates classroom activities that allow students to be able to practice language. Aspect of rule behavior and actual rules that they may need outside of the classroom. In playing the role uh, of the student as if imagining themselves in a situation where they can learn to express uh, themselves. From this, using uh, the role play techniques, students are expected to become active language speakers. Okay, so based on the background in this research, the research objectives are to find out the increase in student mastery of English speaking skills after using role play techniques and to find out whether a student mastery of English skills can be improved uh, through a, a role playing uh, technique. And the research objective is how is role play used to improve students' speaking skills? Now, I will uh, continue uh, about my uh, presentation. Two, chapter 2 is the literature review. Okay. In theoretical review, there are researchers using uh, three theories. Those are the um, concept of speaking, uh, the concept of speaking, theory of teaching speaking, and then the theory of rule play. Okay. For the next, um, the, for the next is empirical review. The researchers using three empirical review. There are from first Saldaria Aryawan and Cahyani, 2019, entitled Speaking Skill of Elementary School Students Review by Gender. The second is Hairi Kai, 2013, entitled Teaching Speaking Active to Promote Speaking in a Second Language. And the last is from Harmer, um, 2001, entitled How to Teach English, an Introduction to Practice English Language the next is methodology. 
In the methodology, there are five parts, namely method and design, research location, population and sample, instrument of data collection, and research instrument. The first is method and design. The method that will be used in the study is Classroom Action Research or CIR. This method which is derived from uh, the root action research design. In this research, we'll carry out um, Classroom Action Research or C CIR uh, in two cycles. The first cycle uh, consists of planning, acting, observe, observing, and reflecting. Then the second uh, cycles also consists of planning, acting, observing, and reflecting. Again, the second is research location. This research will be conducted at SD Negeri Tujuh Bubuk in Karangasem, Bali. The school was chosen because SD Negeri Tujuh Bubuk has met the characteristic of this research. The four uh, the researchers can study the impact of using role play uh, in, in improving students' speaking skills. And the third is um, population and sample. The population of this study was of SD Negeri Tujuh Bubuk in academic year 2022. Population of this research are 114 student comparison into six classes. In taking the sample, the research used a systematic sampling technique, technique, namely taking samples based on the origin or position that then that had been designed by uh, the school. The research sample was the sixth grade student of SD Negeri Tujuh Bubuk with a total of seventeen students. And the next is instrument of data collecting. Data collecting techniques in the study are using qualitative and quantitative uh, data. Qualitative data obtained from observation and quantitative data obtained uh, was obtained from using pretest and post-test. Data to be collected are in the in the form of observation sheet transcript or recordings, collaborator notes, questionnaires, and tests. And the last is research instrument. There are three research instruments that will be used, such as the first is observation. The writer use unstructured observation to find out real condition and information in teaching and learning activity in the schools. Not only that, uh, the writer makes observation notes about the state of the class during learning activities. The second is questionnaire. There are closed questions where the question is used when explaining students. Question after using games in learning activities. The information was then gathered to support the data. And the last is test. The test used are pre-test and post-test. This is used to determine student knowledge of speaking skills, grammar, pronunciation, fluency, vocabulary, and comparison are the five requirements for the test. Okay, that's all about my presentation today, and thank you.